And look, here's, here's another thing to keep in mind. It's okay to, to not be the expert at everything. And what I mean by that is you don't want to be a know-it-all. That on every topic, you've got to tell people that they're wrong. I'll give you an example. If someone first started coming to our church, and let's say they hand me a birthday card that has an NIV verse on it, you know what I'm going to say? Thank you very much. But Brother Stucky, we're King James only. Is that a reason to start a World War III argument with someone who just started coming to church, though? Look, if somebody tries to do something nice, just say thank you. Now, look, if you're a vegetarian and somebody makes you some food with meat in it, be polite. Be nice. You don't have to start a fight about it. It's okay to just be polite and say thank you, right? Proverbs 16, verse 32, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. Now, ruling your spirit means you are in control of your own attitude. The Bible's saying, if you're someone that controls your own spirit, you're better than the mighty. You see, here's the thing, it's pretty hard to take a city in a military fight. The Bible's saying, you know what's even harder to control your attitude? Right? And look, if we're honest with ourselves, we all struggle with this. We get mad. We get stressed. I mean, when you're a young child, it's like, you know what? You don't really have any responsibilities. You don't have any stress. I mean, the most important thing to you is that you get the food that you want. Right? And then when you get older, you have the stress of life that comes upon you. And when that stress comes, what's the normal reaction? Uh, To lash out in anger when things don't go our way. 